Oh, hello everybody, welcome to Buckethead Lords, game number one against Bones United, even TV, because it's, it's in the first ten minutes of the season. So, um, well, I say even down ten TV. Against maybe the best starting team, isn't it? Arguably, Undead, arguably the best starting team, so that's not ideal, but never mind. This could be a loss into a swift remake. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be surprised to draw or lose this game. Pretty good at starting team undead. Well when I say pretty good, they're literally <laughs> probably the best starting team, aren't they? Lizard men Lizard men I think are worse for Chaos Dwarves. I think Lizard Men would be the worst matchup. But even then, if if your opponent's bad, you get to um, beat up the skinks. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point, Bleeding Hippie. Um, oh, man. Worst possible matchup. <laughs> Hmm. Big choice he's got to make. The good thing is, got tackle for the ghouls, isn't it? But it's just horrible. The strength five and mighty blow. It's just, it's just a horrible team. It's probably the worst one you can play first. Probably worse than lizards, because it's so bad for the development of your team as well. Because you're gonna take cars. And a good thing I've got the apple. But um, they're just super annoying. What a super annoying first match. Um, but yeah, at least got some tackle for the, uh, for the ghouls, so that, that is something at least. Um, but yeah, just gonna do the standard setup. The bad thing is you can put the two mummies on three players, can't he? Um, nah, wait. Kill a ghoul and farm the early concession. Yeah, it's just shit because he's going to have the two mummies on these three guys, isn't it? But if I put them there, then they're just going to get dominated as well. So, a Burger King crown. It, or it's a boat. It looks quite like a boat, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, the rule of five. What I would really love, what I would really, really love to see from Cyanide. In Legendary Edition. Probably the main thing I'd like to see. <laughs> it's probably too late to get new players in. But still, the main thing I'd like to see would be... Setups that actually worked. So every single team would just have, you know, two setups. Which would be this. Or, you know, guarding the sidelines. And... Because it's just, yeah, they've got the Kanor set up for fuck's sake. How bad is that? They've got the they've got the just stupid Kanor set up, <laughs> which, with all due respect to him, that set up is a terrible set up. The the Wood Elves have got a decent asymmetrical one, but still, it's not good for it's not good for beginners, is it? They should have just had. <laughs> they should just have, you know, and call it something like Protect Five. So that a new be a beginner can work out that you're protecting five guys, and another one is like cover the sidelines. I think that's what I would call them: cover the sidelines and protect five. And then you would uh, then e any new player would understand that one of these setups protects five guys, and the other one, you know, yeah, pro is, is co will cover the wide zones. You can see that one covers the wide zones for like breaks, and you could even have like a tooltip that like this is good against teams that want to score in too quickly or something. And then this, and then you could have another one like saying, um, you know, this is a this is a good setup. Um, I'm not going to hit with anyone. I don't know. They ain't, they ain't fucking blitzing now, though. Let me tell you. Um, oh, 
Oh god, like that guy with the wood elves who didn't, who didn't uh, do anything. Uh, no, he took ages to decide whether to kick or receive, and then came up with receiving. I mean, this is a good anti-blitz setup, but obviously the the mummies should have swapped here. Um. I don't want to bait the double GFI just because it fucking gets... It just means one of my guys gets smashed by my evil old, doesn't it? That's the sad reality. In a perfect world, he would fail one of the GFIs, use his reroll, and then fail fail the reroll, and then be punished for his double G, bait, the double GFI baiting. But in actual reality, what would happen would be he would make both GFIs, Kaz my guy, and the apple would fail. Um... Strong and stable was just a joke. I, you know, they were just there for a joke. I made them for orcs and they didn't play the game with them. I remade them as chaos, but... Um... Yeah, that'd be cool. But, I mean, the main thing would be... Yeah, he could just push He could just push one and block one and blitz the other one. But still, at least he can't He can't hit these, can he? You know, what one turn of maybe not getting blitz would be all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think the main thing would be you know, if new players are just fucked because they've got no they need to do things to help new players, don't they? Because they're so fucked. That is the thing. And uh, the 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 tutor the campaign shouldn't have been shouldn't have been a tutorial, should it? It should have been it should have been the campaign should have been no, no, the campaign could have just been a campaign. But then he goes for the pickup before blocks. Love, I love this guy. He would have rolled a one if I'd baited the double GFI. Um, yeah, I think it's safe to say he's not the best coach in the world. Hello, Volkaz. Um, and Luc LLC, I'll call you. Campaign should have been the video of me and Fash. Exactly, BZL. Exactly. They should have said. They should have said to Mike Davies. Because, or, or I guess they could have said it to Kanor too, right? Kanor's, Kanor's kind of internet famousy. But then if they'd asked Kanor, they could have asked Crendor or Strippin, and then that would have been very bad. So, maybe they should have just asked Mike Davies. I want to blitz this guy, um, but then I can't knock everybody down with blocks. And I would like to knock everybody down with blocks. Um... Would be better, wouldn't it? Just try to knock everybody down with blocks. Um, well, you know, you couldn't have asked the sage because he could. They couldn't have asked me or the sage because we start. We didn't start till after it was out. Um, but. And yeah, asking, asking, asking Strippin or Crendor would probably be a mistake. But you know, what's he called? Kanor had done his beginners thing, guides and shit. So they could have asked, they could have asked Kanor's or Mike Davies, and they could have just said, "Do a fucking intro video for how to play," because we don't fucking know. Which obviously they don't do. The people who made the game have got no idea how to do it. With their make your opponent concede on turn two or something as their intro game. It's your first objective is to make your opponent concede and stuff. So they don't know what to do. And there should have been a good... It's got to protect people, haven't it? <laughs> protect them from mummies. And, you know, they should have said, you know, work with us. <laughs> well, wait, that's pretty good. But, yeah, I mean, cross out. I mean, <laughs> it's fair enough, isn't it? Because cross out obviously was, well, I don't know. I thought I thought people who would like Blood Bowl would, would like a bit of cross out. You know, it's similarly geeky, isn't it? Mad Max is, is pretty uh, thingy. But, yeah, obviously um, it's not going to be. 
as um, I was popular. Oh shit, I'm only streaming 720 again. Fuck. Nah, I thought about blitzing the mummy, but this, as, as I talked it through, I thought about blitzing the mummy, but this let me block down every single zombie to stop me from taking a block, which would have killed a long beard, probably. Hello, Ducky. <laughs> Yeah, it's clear they aren't, they aren't good at figuring out who's good and for, for advice. Yeah, that's true, BZL. So, they, yeah, because they couldn't have asked Dodd or anybody. But if they'd asked Mike Davies, you know, head of the NAF, that's at least somebody they could have asked, rather than some random YouTuber. So if they'd asked him, and then he could have... See, this is why I put the, them here, so that if he followed up, I'd get a free block at him as well. That's why this guy was there and not there, to get the free block worked out great he did follow up lovely chap um i always well the thing is buddy i'm i always go sure hands um a lot of people would go block um i don't like to i like to go um Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna block and get this two D in there. Follow you. Yeah, block block or sure hands. They're they're your two choices for the skink. Block block or uh, block or sure hands. I like to go with sure hands because I find with with lizard men one of the few ways you can lose a game of blood bowl at low TV with lizard men is if you fail all of your pickups and obviously sure hands stops you failing all of your pickups um, well it doesn't stop you greatly reduces your chance of failing all your pickups I was thinking I had to protect the ball then but I don't even have one I want to blitz him and assist there well, I could assist there anyway couldn't I three four five six so maybe blitzing him would be in better shit. I should have followed. Two to assist. Two to assist here. Blitz then assist. So that works. Three, four, five. Okay, this... This is going to be brilliant. if I power him he's there and he's stranded no obviously push him no, sorry yeah push him there well now it still wouldn't have kept him oh god I've got to make a GFI oh shit wow outrageous didn't even fail it and that's good isn't it can strand him over there um, so he'd have to GFI to get like both ways normally I would keep them based up um, you know, if it's a normal player, but with mummies, I like I like just knocking them out so they've got a GFI to base somebody. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I like to I like to stay at two rerolls forever <laughs> with lizard men because I don't want to go to high TV with them. So I would go sure hands, and uh, and I, I never try to build lizard men up long term because I think they're so bad at high TV. Why would you want to go to high TV with them? So, I think a worse player is going to get more value from block and a better player is going to get more value from sure hands. So, depending on how good you think you are, <laughs> there's your answer. <clears throat> but yeah, that was an okay turn. Just about making blocks, that's all I'm trying to do. Hopefully it'll pay off out blocking him. Got a KO. He hasn't removed anyone. Unbelievable. For like about 10 blocks to 2. Surprising, isn't it?
Um, the rats did shit in the end. Right. What have I got to do? I'll just block. I'll just block first without thinking. That's that's the best. That's the best bet. Um, he could blitz him, couldn't he? Uh, but then he's here. One, two, three, four. Would have to GFI. Him basing him um, isn't terrible. I guess I can keep manned up on him. That's okay. I'll really. I've got to knock this guy down. Four, five, six, and then get over there in the right neck of the woods. Three, four, five, six. Could two D him as well. Oh baby. Alright. I've got to do the GFI. Because otherwise he's going to base with it. I guess I can keep somebody marking him. Can't do a GFI, because what if I fail? Would have failed the GFI. Did fail a quad score. Should have moved, moved these two first. I could have moved these two first. I did want to move him at the end to mark the uh, mummy. So there you go. Game one of the season. Roll a quad skull. Cheeky quad skull. Game one. One in 12, nine, six. Loving it. Love Blood Bowl. Um... Rats are a pin in the ass. You get you get you get twenty five games in. I, I don't know. I've played about 50, 40, 40 games with Skaven. Haven't got a claw. Haven't got a claw player or a or a one turner. Absolute joke. Yeah, that was shit, wasn't it? But it's was my fault. I didn't do safe place first. I did have these two guys. I could have. Could have based one of these, but probably was just going to base him and him, and then make that two D, and then he was going to go to there. So probably I probably didn't even need to re-roll it. But then it's the fact that you're giving up a mummy hit, isn't it? Really fucking sucks. That's why I wanted to make the GFI to stop this. I knew this would happen. I knew he'd make his GFIs and pal my guy. So that's why I couldn't risk a one in thirty-six risk of my own. But if I'd had, I'd have been knocked over without Mighty Blow, and I would have saved a reroll. So maybe I should have done it. Yeah, the Christmas Man School's amazing, isn't it? It is a miracle. Christmas miracle. Christmas Man miracle. Is what it is. He's made like a proper kind of cage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can base the ball. Ooh. It's not even a day or two. It was three turns. Three turns for a quad skull. <laughs> but my bad play, that was it. Didn't make the save moves first. He would have been here. He would have been here. Nah. Good. Yeah, fucking hell, a hobgoblin got hit by a mummy and didn't die. That's probably the craziest thing that I've seen happen in my life. Can base the, can base the ball with him. As unexciting as that is. He can block, he can block, he can block. Yeah, I've got to blitz him though, and that's not easy, is it? I think I just come around here and blitz him then. Right. That's hopefully enough pressure.
right? So he can he can one D him. He can one D him. He wants to waddle somewhere. No, I should maybe put him in there because now I'm relying on a power, aren't I, to get a two dice? Lucky me. Banged on. Oh my god. Hobgob oh KO. Outrageous. Can I 1D these guys? I think he's going to score. He's definitely going to score this turn. Um, what's he going to do? Blitz him with a mummy. If I skull out, he's going to make a 2D. Maybe. Probably not worth risking it, is it? Yeah, so anyway, what 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 cyanide should have done? They should have known what the NAF was. And they should have called they should have got Mike Davies in and they should have been like Explain what Blood Bowl is to us. <laughs> and then and then the NAF League could have been, you know, res. They could have got that in the opening build of the game, the res. And then the tutorial for new players would be, you know, watch this fucking video or whatever or, or just get him in and say make scenarios you know like make a two dice block and um, you know blitz the ball carrier or whatever maximize your blocks this turn maximize your two dice blocks this turn and stuff like that and and like have every one dice be a skull and stuff like, like Fash says and things like that but just not not what they did do. One reroll now is grim, isn't it? This is the thing, the pain about this build is maybe I should have gone with three rerolls. Because even against bad players who give you chances, you just doubt. With only two rerolls, it's fucking grim, isn't it? And agility two or three. Yeah, but how would they know? That's the thing, isn't it? How would they know that Blood Bowl Tactics challenge thing was good? Something like that, but yeah, something like that. Give you, give you just, you just load it up into like a situation, and it's like, you know, just a defense like this, and make make four two dice blocks and stuff like that, and then just like little short things, so you can have a fucking clue, not just sit through a massive game where the, where the goal is to score and make them concede. Oh, God. At least I almost set up an anti blitz formation, like it's a little bit anti blitz, isn't it? There's a screen. And then there's a screen, so it's it's almost anti blitz. Maybe I should, yeah. Kabuster. It's just late now, isn't it? That's the thing. It's late for it's late for them. But I'll, I should do for Blood Bowl three, shouldn't I? I should say for Blood Bowl three. <laughs> Even if they get bloody, you know, I, they probably wouldn't want me involved, but they could get Kenora or Sage involved. It would make Blood Bowl better, which is the important thing, isn't it? Um, and just, yeah, do something so it's just better. It, they've got to make it better for new players. Because there's nothing like this, I don't think, in computer games. It's just so not like, um, though I guess free, it's it's a bit like free to play games in that, <laughs> in that rather than you being down in players all the time, I guess it's just like a free to play game, isn't it? When you're always down TV. Um, but yeah, it's just like it's just a massive grind for people to not suck, isn't it? <laughs> Except rather than free to play games, it's a massive grind to not suck with the gear that you've got. This is just a massive grind to not suck with how how shit you are at the game. <sighs> Look at this. I mean, this is. <laughs> 
it's just it's just a bad joke, isn't it? It's just a fucking bad joke. Opponent plays poorly, scores early, gets a blitz. And this is why Inarian does so well on open ladder. Because, <laughs> because you can get a blitz, can't you? And just lose because of, or lose or win because of a blitz. I guess he has to go in here. Oh fuck, I fucked up. Um, he's gonna have to go there. Yeah, there's no thunder yet, that's good. Yep. Thunder was forecast, so I thought it may have been a, a sudden end to the thing. He uses uh, shitter strategies. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's just gonna fuck up and fucking run away because there's nothing to lose from doing it. Because you either pass and you get a big payoff, or you fail and you, at least you don't get punched by a fucking mummy. Can't complain about them odds, can you? Don't wanna make that one do. Didn't fail. Outrageous. No, there's no EMP protection here. Yeah, that's true, Sheffield Steel, it's very true. Yeah, that would be good, Sheffield Steelix. Yeah, exactly. The danger of not making that 1D block was if he did a 1D power, he'd be giving up a 2D, but I thought it was worth the risk on it. Holy shit, the ball's based. <laughs> If only there was a 75% chance of getting him. Oh no, he's gonna 1D the 1D the blocker. Shit. Or oh, 2D the other one. All right, good. 2D the other one. That's not a problem. Oh wow, and he freed up a freed up a blocker as well. Really? Oh. Can you PM me that, please, Sir Ironclad? Um, and then I can Google it afterwards. Ah, right. Let's see. Hopefully, oh, what's this? A two die block with with block and tackle. It's pretty good, isn't it? Ah, and you got okay, Kate. Well, I was pretty lucky of me there, wasn't it? I got pretty lucky. I got pretty lucky dealing dealing with that vicious ball basing. Oh fuck me. Not so lucky with the making a basic fucking block, but never mind. On on Twitch, yeah, just on Twitch because um, I can't copy paste it or anything. So, oh god, I've got I've got to go as far forward as I can. Yeah, there was no safe move though, really. I, I'm fucking. It's just so hard, isn't it? Streaming it makes everything harder.
I have to make a fucking GFI here. Not with him, I mean with him. So I'm probably just going to fucking fail the GFI. Not score. Yeah, I just didn't think I'd roll another fucking double skulls. Well, I mean, I wouldn't roll a quad skulls, would I? So, it didn't really achieve a lot. But yeah, maybe I should have done. But I didn't know where to put it. I didn't know where to put the ball. I would have liked it to be one behind. But I guess I couldn't put it one behind because of the lack of turns. So, I should have realised that. But it's hard when you're talking and playing at the same time. And you're hot as fuck. Because it's the hottest day of the year. And you can't even think as you're so fucking hot. God, I'm going to have to open the window, in fact. Wow, fuck you, Jellio. <laughs> you take that back. <laughs> he probably is because he isn't he isn't very good at uh, at Blood Bowl at the best of times, so he probably is. I suffer a lot um, talking and playing and stuff. Alright, thank you very much, Sir Ironclad. Um. Right, here we are, <laughs> about to fail the GFI. Um, so now, the question becomes, what is the safe moves? A 2D blitz? That would let him get in front before I do the GFI. I can't just go out and make a naked GFI, can I? So... So I think... But he would like to base him... He could go there, he could but I can't blitz without without block. So he's gonna have to go. But I'd like to do a GFI with him afterwards, but I can't do that. Also there's not a real screen if he doesn't go full movement. Because if he goes to there, he's gotta go full movement. So this is pretty tricky actually. I think it's just GFI but you want to GFI this turn with somebody in front. Really tough. That's really tough. I don't. I want to be able to GFI this turn so that if I fail it, he can score. But if he goes GFI, then there's no there's no protection for him. So I reckon the play is to not GFI. I did. I did very well in UKBBL. I would have won were it not for, were it not for bloody, bleeding hippie. Wiping me out in the in the final. Oh, I could have blocked there and then got the assist that way. He's not even good. He's all right, but I wouldn't call him good at all.
still can get a 2D on him pretty easily. What I've got to do is one dice here, isn't it? Get a pow. And then double GFI to go. I should have made this block first, I guess. There you go. Failing the car is brilliant. Brilliant, that's the weakness of, of having a clue, isn't it? If I'd been shit, I wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> fucking mini Harry Potter. Bastard, he fucking obliterated my team. Pitch cleared. How does that even happen? Pitch cleared by like, by like mid-TV necro. Fucking pitch cleared me in the... Pitch cleared... Pitch cleared undead. In the final, holy shit. Nah, no way, no way is Sage very good. Sorry. Sorry, he's just not. He's like he's like Murloc Joel Good or whatever. You can't even dream of comparing Sage to uh like Purple Goo or whatever. He's just not even like it's a joke to even compare him to somebody good. This was this was bad, wasn't it? Because he could have made a dodge for a one in nine. <laughs> oh shit, he's gonna go there and just go for the double base. Of course you can lose to anybody. I mean, you can, I can play shit. I've never said that. I've played perfect every fucking game. Do you I mean, why not just make, oh, because it was a 3 plus 2 plus. But it was very bad that he didn't do the dodge. At least he misplayed there, but what can I do here? Not much. One dice blitz or some, some shit. He blocks there. He goes 1, 2, 3. And then he does a 1D blitz. And then dodge out. And GFI, looks like I'm not going to score. This is the shit thing about Chofs, isn't it? Two rerolls. If I had a, if I had a reroll, it would be a chance of this, but. Oh, okay, there's a slight chance. Holy shit. Wow. Unbelievable. 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 Can't believe it. Got lucky. Got lucky live on stream. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Call the fucking cops. <laughs> What was even the chance of that? It must have been like... It must have been like 35% or something, wasn't it, for that touchdown? And the mummy's back. Unbelievable. Mummy's step back, still out. Outrageous. Sam Brid up, 3-3-2. Three, 37% three, chance. Would have been 68 with a re-roll, so... I should have just eaten one of those double skulls, probably shouldn't I?
<laughs> important for luck. Got the streamer dice, finally. Next match I'll be 200 TV down to make it fair. I've got to try and get the get the bull, haven't I? Even if it's a five plus. Oh baby! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> What's fucking going on? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, would have been a one in nine. Would have eaten a double skull there to be fair. I quite like him just being at the back here. Everything's kind of screened off, isn't it? There's a weak link. There is a weak link, but never mind. Yeah, so now, like... That's pretty amazing, isn't it? God, I wish I had three rerolls, though. I guess that's that's the play for this environment. But then I needed the Apo as well to get him back, so... The Apo was used, to be fair. I would have had four, four blockers if I'd started with five. <laughs> No, don't tell me he's going to base the ball. Holy shit. Been, I've been incredibly lucky, haven't I, with that mummy? But there you go. Serves him serves him right for just basing randomly. I'm pretty sure he's going to base the ball. Obviously, I'd like to pile the fucking thing, but it's a GFI to hit him, isn't it? If, unless I can free him, even if I free him up. Could just push him into there and then blitz him and then surf him. But then the ball's based by him, which isn't great, is it? I reckon just go for the, uh, go for the safe place first, eh? Oh god, can't even get this one. Can't even free can't even free this guy up, isn't it? Because that would only be a one D. To get the two Ds. He could get a two D, he could get a two D. Then he could get a two D, but then there's no one to assist apart from the bull. And the bull would have to come around here. Hmm, it's not super easy. Bull's just got to come around. Just got to do with Hobbs. Which is, of course, the Rock's character from Fast and Furious. <laughs> of course I won in nine. <laughs> it's just bad. I won in 81, brilliant! Oh, you're fucking brilliant, isn't it, eh? Got a bet on that. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And I'm dying from how I am as well. Fucking brilliant. This fucking game, eh? 
This fucking game. I might just... I might just, like, stream myself. Just fucking stabbing myself with implements or punching myself in the face because it would be less painful than playing Blood Bowl. Fucking <laughs> hell. I mean, I would have taken them both down if it had been a, a chorf blitz. Just because it's not that, um, it's not even that scary, is it? Him basing me with like strength three shitheads. It's not even really scary. <laughs> yeah, that's really a sim back on schedule, yeah. I only got lucky on one fucking action. I also rolled quad skulls and, uh,. And also, also he got a blitz. But I mean, lucky with lucky with the money, and yeah, the actual actual touchdown as it happened was pretty lucky. <laughs> yeah, the Christ of blood ball. <laughs> yep, a soft concede from Ducky. Nice one, Bleeding Hippie. God, Bleeding Hippie's just the most brutal, brutal coach of all time. So he didn't even hit the ball. He, he double based the ball and didn't even hit it. It's funny, isn't it? But got me a lose a fucking reroll. <laughs> wow. I mean, the playing was always going to go down, wasn't it? Every game, every game loses players. When um, when it started, every game goes down in players from when it starts. But okay. all right, so at least I can free up this guy now. Or this one and this one. So either he can come in he, he no it needs no so he has to come in. And then free up these two. This this one. Holy shit, didn't turn over. Outrageous. And can just block one and blitz the other. I guess he's got to stand up even though he's eating a mighty blow hit. Where does he go? So block him, blitz him, run around. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can go like here. Didn't turn over. Pretty outrageous. I guess I want to keep him based. Nah, I want to keep the screen going. One and nine? No. Outrageous. That keeps the screen going a little bit, doesn't it? Whew. Can't believe it. Wrestle or block on your first witch level. <laughs> Are you serious, Bleeding Hippie? Oh my god. Wants to scream, but he's undercover. <laughs> oh shit. Definitely block on the first one. I always go block on the first one.
I think a block witch and a wrestle witch is fine. And then eventually, if your original witch dies, two wrestle witches wouldn't be that bad. But, um, eats the 3 dB. Mighty blow. Shrugs it off. He obviously had a he obviously had a car door stuck in his armor to protect him there. <laughs> yeah, as long as you never ever take jugs on the foot on the doubles, then you're all right. Yeah, thanks, Jelly. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, it does it is going it is going quite well, to be fair. To be fair, Bleeding Hippie, I got a lucky touchdown. His mummy stayed out. Um So it isn't actually going that bad. It's just annoying to one in eighty one and I did quad skull. So, you know. Um Yeah, that's that's what it is. Oh shit, and I haven't leveled up my Crusaders. Fuck. Oh man, seven hundred levels on Grey Skull there. Fuck. Hadn't even leveled them up. Oh wow, one dice blitz, rolled a skull. All one Ds are skulls. Oh yeah, caught the ball as well, yeah, five plus catch on the kickoff. Bull just go like block, tackle, break, tackle, that sort of stuff. Block, break, tackle, tackle. Because you need mobile tacklers to deal with the elves. Pacing the ball again, he loves it. Right, in right, so this is gonna be a double skull, guaranteed. Then he blocks. Then he would like an assist in there. Where does the blitz come? He's gonna to have to do the blitz later, isn't he? So he's just gonna to have to stand up. He could go there, then he could block. He could come in one, two, three. Oh, God, there's a lot to go. You've got to make this block and just not fail. Holy shit. Outrageous. It's still not bad at the moment. Okay. Good. Now, the GFI. Oh shit. Hang on to your asses. And then do a little cheeky cheeky push out. That's what I was I was hoping would have been. You know, with a pow, that frees up that guy, doesn't it? Um Probably should have just followed, but I did want to be there. But for the sake of the GFI, it probably wasn't worth it. Probably should have just followed. I actually wanted to be there. Maybe so. No, I couldn't be there, could I? He's gonna have to get. He's gonna have to eat the hit from the mummy. They're all going to have to start. But this is giving up a guaranteed 2D, but if he skulls... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI. If he skulls, it's horrible. I mean, I can't make these, because even though he's going to get 2Ds, he's going to get two 2Ds from this and a 2D from this. 
It's uh, it's not pretty, is it? If only he could have been there. If only the, he got knocked down on like the first or the second hit instead of the third. Just gotta be a two plus. Worth it, innit? Good. Had to do that one. Don't have to do this one. <laughs> yeah. Yep, he loves the ball basing. And I mean, like, it's probably the one of the worst teams to do it again, isn't it? Is dwarves because they can take the one Ds with block. Um, but still, he does have the strength advantage with his mummies, especially with me having the ball on a on a bull taking him out of the fight. He's gonna base the ball with a mummy. Oh my god! He's n he's not a four trick pony like calcium. He's just a one trick pony. <laughs> At least he didn't die. No, but he's still, he's, it's mad, but it's still it's still there, isn't it? <laughs> he got the ball bits. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Calcium is a four trick pony. <laughs> I can't remember what they are though. What is it? Chaos Dark Elves Dwarves. I've forgotten the fourth one. Face all men's. It isn't even. It isn't. It sadly isn't even bad. Thank you. It's awesome. mm. <laughs> Technically. Not even, not even a four trick pony. <laughs> the fourth trick is making you think he's actually got four tricks instead of three. <laughs> oh man, right. I've got, I've got, I've got some sausage here, so um, I'm gonna eat that. Um, while, so I'll, I'll meet myself for a, a short while.
Holy shit, he failed. That could cost him, couldn't it? That could be... That could be GG. Right there. Get to uh, make things happen now. Oh, why, why am I got this? I'm still eating, fuck's sake. Right, sorry. <laughs> Wow, what a fuckhead, what a fuckhead, um, taking away the dream of the bull touchdown, but 60k winnings is okay, um, so can't argue with that, oh my god, strong and stable yet twin MVPs, <laughs> amazing, holy shit, okay, that's pretty good then, okay, I'll, I'll forgive him stopping the score, um, that's a pretty great start then, isn't it? Um, obviously still got to save up for the first reroll, the first reroll, the third reroll. But um, <laughs> yeah, he conceded the first turn. He couldn't base the ball. So uh, yep, cast for him. Double double bull MVP. Yes, yeah, so that 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 makes up for losing the bull touchdown, I guess. Um, and there you go, off to a win. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.